So Martina asks, as she says, uh, hello, I have created a SharePoint communication site for my org. I have a homepage and a page for each team within the org. The homepage has a news web part, and I would like each team to have its own news web part. However, when I add the news web part to the individual team homepages, it pulls in the news from the homepage, the top level. Is there any way to add page specific new web part? New, new, page specific new web part. So mm -hmm. um, I actually, so this is a lot of what we do every day as we go into um, places and help them build out intranets and specific sites. Um, there are a lot of new features in the new stuff that is out and has been recently um, published. So you can actually go um, look up in Microsoft Docs and there's a lot about organizational news, how it works, how it digests, things like that. Um, but what I have found is the best practice is really to have each of those areas have their own news in their own site. And then in one primary location, basically hub that and do a news roll up. And then you can basically pick what you want to show up. You can do everything. You can do everything in the hub. You can select specific sites. And it gives you a lot of filterability for news to roll it up. Um, but in terms of the actual individual homepage managing that news, um, that gets a lot more difficult. And the only thing that we've been able to do has been primarily custom solutions for that. Hmm. It's all SharePoint, SharePoint framework web parts. SharePoint designer. Can't your designer just take care of that for you? <laughs> uh, it's, it's been a while since I've used the news web parts, but I do believe there are built in filtering options. And so if you have something like metadata or a, a site column that is indicating the an attribute that you can anchor against to make that filter work. For well, that's you. just that's a view. That's just a view, right? That's just a different view. You'd put the same web part in, but change the view, right, Norm? Isn't that what you? Yeah, what I think you can configure multiple web parts on oh, the same okay. page. Okay. Yeah. Now that you could. Oh, and I think I did. It's my answer disappeared for some reason, so I was rewriting it. But yes. Oh, sure it did. That's the other option is you can do the query. So there is a new one where basically you can put a search web part that'll basically define the filter, and then it'll pass that to the news web part. News is a little tricky because the way that it works is because it comes out of the pages library. Um, you got to do some special stuff to kind of get it to roll up right. But yeah, I do believe you can do the query um, and then pass that to the news web part and it would work. Yeah, this is one of those great examples of need to understand how SharePoint architecture works and then go and build that way. I mean, the, the easiest thing to think is, hey, we have a top level, we're one organization, and then we wanna have each sub team, each business unit with their own page underneath that. But then you want differing experiences, either go and build custom or you architect the out of the box experience, go and create the entirely different sites, use a hub to organize it, which is one of the primary use cases for hub sites and pull that together that way. And so they're they're separate, but they all look the 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 same and you can have that shared navigation the rest of that experience, but then you you'll know, manage those things as independent sites. Right. I think Welcome the to biggest modern. thing I think yeah. that's the definition of the separate but equal. I might be wrong. <laughs> I think the biggest thing is to really and I'll pop this in here is really to understand kind of where Microsoft's headed with the way that news is managed across everything because it's less the news stuff is a little bit less about understanding SharePoint like the way SharePoint classically works and more understanding the overall process of how news is created digested delivered across all the different applications um, and making sure that essentially you're architecting that to come in the right places. The other thing is we also come into a position where we manage some of these web parts and I'm still kind of waiting because a lot of those have to be managed and filtered. You have to have the ability to edit the page. Whereas when we're just talking about content owners being able to publish news without having to edit those web parts, setting them up ahead of time to do things automatically is a little bit more difficult than having them be able to go in and edit the web part and kind of customize it the way they want. Um, so it's thinking through the architecture of how do you want that news process to happen 
and designing that and then determining what can I do out of the box that that's going to basically allow them to manage the content versus what are they going to need to be able to manage the web parts themselves for. Awesome. Thank you.